Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to have a look at a Nintendo Switch game called Atomine. Published by Mixbag, developed by Broken Arm Games, who were kind enough to send me a review code so I can check this game out and tell you what I think and I absolutely love it. It's a great game, it's a great twin stick roguelike shooter that is something that just keeps you trying again and again. The game is loosely based on real life hacking events and in this game you are a little virus that has to take over a nuclear missile control system. Now story apart, this game is just badass. You have to be quick on your feet. There are tons and tons of enemies heading for you, some are quite uh, suicidal like the kamikaze kind of others are definitely more strategical and start to blast you from afar I've tried to keep this review as spoiler free as possible by showing you some initial levels right up until the first boss battle so one thing to know in this game is that there are multiple different versions of the virus called Atomine so you start out with one Atomine, the basic version, which we're playing with right now. And you have to unlock multiple Atomines that have different abilities, different speed settings, different uh, shot settings, different modules you can expand. And it is through those different Atomine versions that this game becomes really addictive. Each level has one object being to blast your way through and make it to the exit so you can upload yourself to the next level. In each level there are also two rooms to find that can help you progress really quickly through this game. One room containing a massive bulk of experience and a room where you can change your different modules. So you can change up your rate of fire, you can change up the spread of your fire, you can change up the kind of bullets that you're firing and this system works really well. Nothing is mandatory in this game as you can finish these levels without visiting or exploring these two separate areas but I recommend you do not. Go there, upgrade your Atomine and you'll have a definite better chance in running through the game. If you want to make yourself difficult then sure skip out and see how far you can reach. Apart from the enemies that you'll be facing there are also traps uh, which are not destructible and I'll just show you one here. These levels can get hectic quickly because many of these enemies they seem to come out of nowhere. While some of the enemies, mostly those that are stationary that just revolve around the axis but don't approach you, you can actually spot them and if you want to you can try and avoid them. Be mindful that if you do destroy them they might explode in your face. So most of these enemies you cannot see approaching and that is where this game gets so difficult because you might find yourself struggling with two, three, four enemies while out of the blue, while you're backing up, more enemies will appear and just blast the hell out of you. So that is something that is at the same time frustrating but I find rather exhilarating. Personally, I have never been much into the twin stick shooting action. It was this game, Atomine, that really brought me back into it. So is there nothing negative about this game? Well, kinda. One is, it is tough. It is a really tough game. If you're not familiar with twin stick shooters, then this might not be the best game to start with because it is not a game that you want to pick up for five minutes and just blast your way through hoping that you can clear it. No, it's a game in which you have to study the enemies. Granted, all the levels are procedurally generated, meaning that every time you run through them, the levels are different. However, the enemy behavior is rather quite the same, and that is something um, that is just required in this game. You only have one life that's made up of energy, and while killing most of the enemies, will just give you some experience points for your at the mind version to upgrade sometimes they drop some energy to refill your health or energy bar but it is limited of course you can upgrade this also with the available modules and the module system works great you can choose your own path in the sense that you can more or less build your own at the mind just the way you want it with the available modules at that time 
there are a ton of these modules and I'm showing you just a few here and you'll see how many there are uh, unlockable and some you can buy so in the game you can earn some in-game currency and with this in-game currency you can buy these unlocked uh, modules that can become available in your playthrough so in the end the more you play the more you unlock the more you unlock the stronger you become so it's not something that you pick up and play for an hour maybe two maybe five hours and the game is done no instead the more you play the better you become and that is something really interesting to me in that sense it has a sort of RPG element to it and I am a sucker for RPGs as you might know and you'll definitely come to know the boss battles in this game are really fun uh, they are tough yes but they're not as tough I'd say as the regular levels because a boss has a much more predictable behavior than any of his uh, subordinates and yes these bosses also sprout their little minions trying to derail you but their own behavior is quite predictable just make sure that you have the correct module that you can work with in these boss battles and that's a point of critique that while the module system works great I would also have liked the option to switch up your modules while playing through so rather than exploring the level going into the secret room to upgrade or switch your modules I think it would be a good idea to be able to switch up your modules on the go with the simple button press and button combination and that way the game can become much more dynamic rather than strategic an absolute miss out though in Atomine is a co-op mode this game is absolutely great but would have been that much better if we could go at it in co-op mode. When it comes to the aesthetics and sound department, this game has it all. The music employed in this game with the gameplay gets my blood pumping and that is one of the reasons why I keep getting back into it. And the aesthetics are really up to snuff. Some of these levels are absolutely gorgeous. Especially after clearing the first boss battle, the game starts to mix it up and you'll find yourself in levels that are generated on the go in the sense that your walls or your boundaries are not visible until and unless you move through it which makes it much more difficult but at the same time that much more beautiful so taken as an entirety this game is an absolute must buy for anyone who likes a shooter for anyone who likes a twin stick shooter for anyone who loves fast paced action this game features tons of unlockables and explorables and that is something that's really addictive. I really hope that this game one day will receive a physical release for the Nintendo Switch and when it does, guys, just pop in an art book. Just do it. This game really deserves it. Depending on your region, the game is currently listed for $9.99 which makes it a great pickup at a low cost. Let me know in the comment section down below do you own this game? If so, have you managed to finish the game all the way through? Have you unlocked all the different Atomai models? And how far are you with your module collection? For those of you who don't have this game yet, god damn buy it today. It is such a blast, pun intended. So guys, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've had as much fun as I had. And I hope you'll tune in for the next review. Games or accessories, Nintendo Kid will bring it to you. Have a good day.